Hey guys, Tony Story Sass Assassin, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Reviews. And again, this one is gonna be the double cigar review, part of our Chasey the Dragon project. So today we're doing La Gla uh, La Galaria Galera La Galera La Galera Galera Year of the Dragon. So the whole entire box uh i don't think i'm gonna go out of my way to film a uh b-roll for this so because it's not a lot of things to this so let's just quickly scan through the box right so the bottom obviously has 10 cigar made in dominican republic blah okay and the front is a traditional cloud print with the word dragon on this thing uh let me explain about this dragon print. This dragon is a written like an artistic way of right dragon, but somebody else designed this. This is a long time ago. They didn't came out with this design. This came out, and I think what they did is just make the dragon even more of like a seahorse now, and that kind of pissed me off. But this is not even the correct way to write dragon, because huh, I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this. <coughs> Because the word dragon, which I'm going to put one here, you can see it's got few structures, right? You get the top part, you get the bottom part, which is a moon, and then you get the body of the dragon to the right side. I'm doing right, but on the camera, it's opposite, so I should have gone this way, right? So the body should go up this way. That's the dragon part, okay? And then it stands on top of the moon. That's what it says, okay? The word is... Basically, standing on top of the moon is the dragon. That's how it goes. But in this thing, you see this this part is is representative of that that standing part is the head. They put, they take the stand part as the head. The moon part, instead of that, they wrote it this way. Wow, I have to write it backwards. So weird. Uh uh uh, that. So it goes up this way instead of doing the moon. They did a circle. And then you get the dragon part. This part, I'm no obvious. This part, obviously, no big deal. But this part is wrong. So that artistic way of writing the word is not commonly accepted. We know it exists, but it's obviously the wrong way to write this because you didn't go, you didn't write the moon word. You did a circle. So obviously wrong. So piss me off that they use this one because somebody didn't did a research about why people don't use this one. <laughs> All right, so inside, velvet lining, and then this dragon words and La Galera. Ten cigars. All right. Now, there is a small secret in this one. Number one, it says limited edition. I got 1,100 out of 2024. All right. Number two is that you can take this bottom tray off. And there's more prints on the bottom. Now where we are is the heart of every cigar factory. It's where our magic begins. Okay. I think... Does this thing come off? Yeah, it does. It's a bottom tray. So you can technically hide some Povita pack under it. Because it's a tray. Alright. <clears throat> so with that being said... Let's take a good look at the cigar. 
So the cigar is La Galera, Year of the Dragon, 6x52 Toro, uses a Ecuadorian Habano wrapper of a binder um, that is including a Criollo 98 and a Priloto Cubano, and the fillers are Dominican. MSRP is $38 per cigar. They made 20, 24 boxes and 10 cigars per box. Ah, uh, so $380 for this box. We'll see if that goes there. You know, the wrapper mm, looks like a lighter milk chocolate color. Kind of rough, but the cap is almost non-existent. So as you can see, this thing has this weird tail tip on the top and it's um, close foot, close foot. So that's going to be very interesting how that looks out because um, the decoration is going to be weird. We'll see. All right, so let's see. What the hell? Okay. Is this leafy, sweet chocolate smell? Yeah, leafy, sweet chocolate smell. Kind of weird. Uh, it tastes powdery. What? All right, let's hope this thing holds together because the cap is tiny. <clears throat> All right, I pretty much cut 90% of the cap off. That's all there is. That's all there is. That That's all I cut off. And that's all the cap that they have. Yeah. That's all that is there for the cap. I'm not kidding you guys, man. There's nothing left for the cap. And it tastes spicy. Like you obviously can't take a draw, but it's a spicy hay. Whatever I'm tasting it. <clears throat> Spicy hay. Plop, plop, plop. Yep. Hey, earthy. Hey, earthy. Cedar. Oh, we kind of, we probably could expect this. It's just a standard few <clears throat> beefy note. Gritty. It's very gritty. Very, very gritty. It's bitter too. It's just hay, kind of bitter, spicy, woodsy. <clears throat> I want to say it's try to be nutty, but it's bitter. That kind of kills it. That's weird. It's tried to be sweet, but it's still bitter. So, definitely not me. Definitely something else. What's with the, all these tobacco that came with the cap? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to slowly smoking through this. And we'll see if this thing tastes better because uh, right now it's kind of weird. Just bitter and hay and 
it's really burning through that wrapper on its own because it's closed foot. And now just, everything just tastes like that. So let me see if it gets better. We'll be back. All right, so we are at the first third. It's still hay. It's still some spice, but the like pepper is kind of weird. It's, it's not there anymore. And the rest of the flavor, I can only describe it as a really cheap, generic cocoa powder that is dated. All right, so imagine you bought a bag of cocoa powder and you left it for five years in your cabin. You open it up and say, hey, maybe I'll make some hot cocoa. What the hell is wrong with this? That's kind of the flavor I got out of this thing. And you can kind of taste it, still try to develop, still working towards that nice cocoa taste, but it's not there, it's missing some element. It's like some flavor just died, right? But it's working towards there. I have some hope that it could probably become something very cocoa, something like that. Which is still not a, I don't know, characteristic of Dominican tobacco fillings. So I, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. But I got a lot more to go. We'll see where that goes. Be right back. So I'm done with second, third. This cigar is roughly a medium plus or full. It's kind of weird because it's like you feel it, but you don't feel it. Like I feel like there's a medium something, but when I smoke it, it's so heavy. It's like that must be full, but I don't feel it full. So it's kind of a weird thing. I'm going to say it's full, but it feels like a medium ish thing. But you can, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not going to get sick. I feel like it's that much, but tastes like this much, if that makes any sense. Also, the cigar has this, um, it's really packed. Okay, the, 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 the tobacco is really packed. It looks like there's like an accordion folding thing instead of the straws. It has accordion folding. So it's, the smoke comes through really, really thick, but it has draw. It's no problem. The draw is no problem. It's probably because of the accordion way of folding it. Like, However, they did it. So it's thick. It's hay. It's tried to be sweet, but it's not that sweet. It's tried to be, I don't know, like an Ethiopian tobacco, uh, not, you know, tobacco, Ethiopian espresso, like earthy kind of taste. And with a little bit of acidity, but the acidity goes onto that cocoa note. So it's like they try to make something work. I'm pretty sure at the time when they blend it probably works well, but it doesn't really deliver on the cigar. Okay, so it's kind of weird. It's like a lot of flavor that's not supposed to be together yet. They're supposed to be together. And then you have a lot of um, string that's there, but not really there. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's weird, like I, I think they marriage the everything together weird, you know, in a weird way. So here's the first band. It says you have to dry again. This thing almost like almost looks like like a Davidal band. I gotta be really honest with you. It looks like a like a Davidal band or something like that. Like yeah. Uh, uh, it gets the word across, it gets the, the, the name across. But what's really weird is the com combination with this band. They're two different design. They're not even the same message kind of thing you know what i'm saying they're, they're, they're not the same like design message this thing is so busy like, it's super busy you gotta like you know <laughs> it's weird because it looks like a court at the same time it looks like a beach and it has like this like really weird uh farm that like a tobacco farm or something like that and then it says you know it's made in republic dominica uh, republic and 
the Republic, the Republica Dominicana, which is Dominican Republic. So it's like, and then you got like a nine billion crests on this thing. It's just a lot of stuff on this thing. I I don't even know where to look. It's a lot of stuff, and they're like all the elements stuff put together, just a mess. And then you get this band that barely has anything. It's like the design language it doesn't meet. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. So yeah. But anyways, last term. I'm kind of glad I'm the last term. I'm gonna finish it up. But thirty eight dollar cigar. $38 cigar. Not even close, man. Not even close. Yeah, I'm finished the last third. Be right back. Okay, so we're done. This cigar, I don't really like. It actually got a little bit floral at the end. That cocoa is kind of messed up. And a little bit cedar. It, it's just not there. It's definitely not a $38 cigar. In fact, to me, this thing tastes like... Eight or nine dollar cigar. Eight or nine dollar cigar. It's not particular. It's a lot of strength. But like everything they want to portray or they try to deliver is not properly delivered to me. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's strings there. Uh, this this and that is out there. But like they when they marry to each other is lacking a, a description or uh, it's, it's not delivering. It's not it's not in the right place. Um, it, it's hard to describe. Like, you know, you tried to get a pancake, but it didn't taste like a pancake. It tastes like a flour and egg and butter. But when you taste flour, it doesn't really, you know it's flour, but it's not really floury. Or it tastes egg, but it's not really egg. It's not that eggy. And it tastes butter, it's not really buttery. That's that's what I what I got out of the cigar, especially with the strength. It's not kind of it's not worth it that, to that extent. The packaging is okay, but like I say, I have a little bit problem with the way they designed this packaging. Um, <clears throat> I can say it's not it's it's good attempt, but lost in translation. If that makes any sense. So yeah, for me, it's not a very good presentation for thirty eight dollars, eight to nine dollars. All I can get. Um, for this particular cigar. So yeah, maybe maybe Eric has a different point of view. So make sure to watch uh, um, Eric's uh, uh, double review on this one. I'm gonna, after this, I'm packing it up, sending it to him. So he will be able to uh, do a review on this and we're gonna release the same day. So maybe he had a better cigar opinion for this cigar because I didn't see, like I do see that they are trying they try to put a really elaborate band. They then they try to, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, okay, we had a really good band to play on there. All right, it's ear the dragon. Let's get a ear the dragon slap on there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Whatever. It's so long we get the message through, right? All right, we have a lot of tobacco here. Let's make a good. Let's do a good job. Let's do accordion full so it doesn't doesn't plug. Okay. All right. All right. And and, and we gotta make sure you put a lot of good tobacco in there. But all those things they put together did not marry and and deliver one message. They, 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 it's like reading five different books in one, uh, but not like read one book and then the next page is the other story. It's like page one is one story, page two is another story, page three is another story, page four is a different story, page five is another story, but then, and then page six back to story one, page two back to story two, like that. Right, so they have a lot in there, but come in the combination of way of trying to get the story through, they have failed to deliver. That's how I feel it. So, it didn't work to my expectation. But anyways, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure to listen to our podcast, which uh, reminds me I have to record one tomorrow. And make sure to check out swag, check out membership, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, you know, have two or three more dragons left. We're almost there. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.